Hi friends, Antimicrobial World welcomes you. In this video, we are going to see what is bacteriocin. Bacteriocins are highly specific antibiotic substances produced by one strain of bacteria which can active against another strain of the same species or different species. Bacteriocins are proteins but some may have associated lipopolysaccharides derived from the cell wall of bacteria producing them. Bacteriocins are ribosomally synthesized and sensitive to proteases. Gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria can produce many kinds of bacteriocin that allow bacteriocin-producing bacteria to have the ability to inhibit the growth of sensitive bacteria. Generally harmless to the human body and surrounding environment. Bacteriocins are given specific names based on the bacterial species of origin. For example, colicins, pyosins, megasins, etc. A cell producing bacteriocin is immune to it but may be sensitive to other bacteriocins. Bacteriocins have a very specific activity on bacteria being capable of killing some but not all strains of a species. This specificity is made use of in typing certain species. Bacteriocins kill susceptible cells without lysing them. Bacteriocin, when released by bacteriocin producing bacteria, it can become combined with the corresponding receptor on the surface of the sensitive bacteria to kill the bacteria. The bactericidal mechanisms include the performing type, a nuclease type with DNAs and RNAs function, peptidoglycanase type, inhibition of protein synthesis, inhibition of DNA replication, etc. When the bacteriocin producing strains are growing on sensitive bacteria, LB soft agar, an inhibition zone will be produced around the bacteriocin producing strains. Bacteriocins and phages resemble each other in a number of respects. Both adsorb on the surface of susceptible bacterial cells on specific receptor sites, some of which may be the same for phages and bacteriocins. Under the electron microscope, some bacteriocins, especially pyosins, appear like the tail structure of phages. The synthesis of bacteriocins is determined by the presence in bacteria of colicinogenic factors, which are episome and can be transmitted from cell to cell by conjugation or transduction. Next, we are going to see the applications of bacteriocins. Bacteriocins have a wide variety of applications in various fields. Food industry. Bacteriocins have been used in the preservation of food. Bacteriocins can also be used to improve food quality. Nissen. Nissen is the only bacteriocin that has been officially employed in the food industry and its use has been approved worldwide. Nissen is applied in the food industry as antibotulinic agent in cheese, liquid eggs, sauces and canned foods. It exhibits a wide spectrum antimicrobial action against Staphylococcus aureus, Bacillus series and other pathogens. Nizen is produced by Lactococcus lactis. Thus, bacteriocins have huge potential as food preservatives. And it is also proving as next generation antibiotics targeting the multiple drug resistant pathogens. As we all know, 
One of the greatest concerns facing humanity is the growing problem of multi-drug resistant pathogens. The strong specific activity of certain bacteriocins against clinical pathogens, even against multi-drug resistant strains, offers a possible solution to this growing problem. In coming years, bacteriocins may represent a good potential for use as substitute for antibiotics with no side effects. Some bacteriocins were reported as having antiviral and spermicidal activities. Bacteriocins are able to selectively act against cancer cells, that is, as potential anti-cancer agents. Some bacteriocins have been successfully acting as a treatment for certain types of tumors and ulcers. Bacteriocins could potentially be used in the post-surgical control of infectious bacteria. For example, Nizen has the ability to control many gram-positive and gram-negative pathogens. Bacteriocins play an important role in boosting the immune system of the human beings. Thus, bacteriocins opens the possibility of developing next generation antimicrobial agents and also as alternative solutions to problems like cancer, contraceptives, systemic infections, oral care, skin care, etc. The natural biopreservative bacteriocin research will lead to new inventions and new applications. Or we can say, bacteriocin research will open the door to the new era of bacteriocin. By saying that, bacteriocins become one of the weapons against microorganisms. I'm concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.